For centuries, people believed that all swans were white because that was all they had ever seen. They thought it was a universal truth. Then one day, someone discovered a black swan. It was a surprising and unexpected event because it went against what everyone believed. So yeah, the theory is named after this idea of a rare and unpredictable event that goes against our assumptions and expectations. It isn't related to the Darren Aronofsky movie. You know, the one starring Natalie Portman as a committed dancer? Nassim Nicholas Taleb is the person who named this theory. He suggested that these types of super rare and unexpected events are impossible to predict, but they can have a massive impact on individuals, businesses, and societies. The theory was originally used to explain financial markets, but has found its way into various fields. Taleb calls those extremely rare events black swans. Now, these events are so rare that the usual tools of probability and prediction, like the normal distribution, don't really work. They rely on large populations and past data, which we don't have for rare events. So, trying to use statistics based on the past won't help us predict black swans. Let's dive into some examples of past black swan events. The rise of the internet is actually a great example. It's now hard to imagine a time when people couldn't Google their burning questions or watch funny cat videos online. The internet's growth and impact caught many by surprise. It transformed the way we communicate, access information, and even buy fluffy socks without leaving the couch. A digital revolution nobody truly saw coming. Recently, we found an infant black swan on the internet. The emergence of cryptocurrencies. I mean, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies created new forms of decentralized digital currency and disrupted traditional financial systems. Then we have the invention of smartphones. Picture a world where phones were chunky, had buttons, and only made calls. Suddenly, boom! Smartphones turned everyone into walking wizards with tiny devices in their pockets. From taking selfies to driving with GPS, these pocket-sized marvels changed the game, surprising us all with their incredible capabilities. Here, we can also mention the rise of social media. The emergence of platforms like Instagram revolutionized communication, enabling people to connect and share information globally. The creation of the internal combustion engine was a game-changer too. Long ago, horses trotted along the streets, leaving a different kind of horsepower behind. But then, ta-da! The internal combustion engine roared to life, propelling cars and transforming transportation forever. Who would have thought that a mechanical contraption could replace our equine friends and pave the way for road trips and drive throughs What about black swans related to our bodies, like decoding DNA? Once upon a time, DNA was a mysterious code, like a secret language of life itself. Then, science unraveled its secrets, revealing the blueprint that makes us who we are. This groundbreaking discovery in genetics opened doors to medical advancements and personalized medicine. Imagine you're a scientist working in a lab. One day, you forget to clean up your petri dishes. You know, those plastic or glass things commonly used for growing microorganisms. Then, you leave for a vacation. When you return, you find a happy accident. A mold called penicillin has grown on one of the dishes and exterminated the bacteria around it. That's what happened to Alexander Fleming. This accidental encounter with mold led to the discovery of penicillin. Hello, one of the most important medications in history. At the time, bacterial infections were a major threat to human health. Fleming's chance observation opened the door to a whole new way of fighting infections and revolutionized medicine. Now let's take a peek at Europe in the 14th to 17th centuries. It was like a scene from a historical movie. People are emerging from the Dark Ages, embracing newfound knowledge and experiencing an explosion of creativity. This period is none other than the Renaissance. It's a black swan too, because during that time, there was a tremendous surge in artistic, scientific, and philosophical achievements. Incredible minds like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo and Galileo were pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. The Renaissance was like a giant wake-up call for Europe, shaking off the cobwebs of the past and embracing a new way of thinking. 
It was a black swan event because it changed the course of history and ushered in a period of immense progress and innovation. It reminds us that sometimes, out of the blue, a wave of inspiration and brilliance can transform the world. Let's take a step back, or uh, a thousand steps further, and consider the moon landing. The Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969 was an extraordinary feat of human achievement and a positive black swan event. It showed humanity's potential for exploration and scientific advancement, inspiring generations and pushing the boundaries of what was deemed possible. Not all black swans are good and positive, though. When it comes to the stock market, a black swan event is like a super rare market crash that goes way beyond what anyone could expect. We're talking about events that statistically should hardly ever happen. The Great Depression is a classic example of a black swan event. It happened in 1929, but its effects lasted for a long time. The economy was booming with happy days, then the stock market crashed and everything went haywire. It was almost impossible to predict, like trying to guess the lottery numbers but on a global scale. The world had never seen such a massive economic meltdown. At its peak, 25% of Americans found themselves without a job. The economy took a nosedive. The US GDP dropped by 30%. Over 9,000 banks waved the white flag and said, we're out. Oh, and there's something called a gray swan event too. It's not as rare as a black swan, but it's still an outlier. The good news is that gray swans are a bit more predictable than black swans, so we can better prepare for them and take some measures to protect ourselves. Let's play a little thought game. Imagine we're weighing a bunch of people and one of them happens to be the heaviest person in the world. Even if that person weighs 2,000 pounds, it doesn't really make a big difference in the overall average weight of everyone we weigh. It's like a drop in the bucket. This shows that extreme outliers like this super heavy person don't have a huge impact on the average. Now let's do a similar experiment, but this time with wealth. We gather a group of people, including one billionaire. What if that billionaire's wealth is 99% of the total group's wealth? Unlike the weight example here, the outlier dominates everything else. This is what Taleb calls extremistan, where a small number of people have a huge portion of wealth, while others have very little. Taleb argues that the modern world operates more like money. It's mostly digital and not constrained by physical or biological limits. While most people don't make a lot of money, a few can make a ton. The same applies to other areas like music, book sales, and more. This winner-take-all system rewards a small number of individuals disproportionately. We tend to believe we understand why these outliers exist. We think it's all about thinking outside the box, starting a revolutionary company, and working tirelessly. But what about those people who did all these things and failed? You don't often hear about them or find shelves full of books about their failures. There's a bias in the stories we hear and the information available to us. In the end, we became more vulnerable to black swans. So, whether it's a mold leading to life-saving antibiotics or an economic crisis, these events of the black swan theory show us that unexpected events can have impacts on our lives. By the way, the odds of being born are 1 in 400 trillion. For all we know and don't know, being born is an unimaginably improbable event that nobody could have truly foreseen. So if you're alive, in a sense, you're a black swan too.